Hi. This is Joe Vasso with Music Radar, and I'm here with Joe Satriani. Yes. Backstage. Yes. And uh, that was a great sound check. Thank you. Um, so let me just ask you a few questions here. You just finished the European tour, and now here you are in the States. Now, we get you here in the States a lot more than Europe. Have you noticed any differences to the European audiences to the to what we have here in the States? In the general, the European audiences are more vocal, more outspoken, demonstrative. They sing along with the songs more. Crowd chant is like, you know, totally off the charts when we do it. But there are places here in North America where it's the opposite, like uh, last night in Montreal. I think that was the craziest crowd ever. You would think you were in Barcelona wow. or Italy or something. They were amazing, so you never know. Um, now, you're doing eight songs uh, from the new album in the set? I think so, yeah. How long did it take you to sort of feel comfortable with the set, with the new songs? Probably about a week for me. I think everybody had a different curve, mm -hmm. you know. They may have been completely comfortable during rehearsals, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm always wondering as I fold in a lot of my parts, all my transitions, how how I'm going to feel about it, going from melody to solo and try to work in some of the little ear candy rhythm parts. So, right. Um, but I feel better now than I did, you know, six weeks ago and two months ago. So I think it just gets better and better as you go along. Now you're doing a, a five-piece band. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Mike Keneally out there with, yeah. uh, on the keyboards. How is it feeling with the five-piece band? Are they adding more sort of nuances, little oh, yeah. elements to it? From, I mean, last night Mike Keneally was playing with his teeth. So, are you, are you yeah, nuances. We're past nuances. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and, uh, and uh, of course, Alan Whitman is just a monster performer. So he, I mean, as soon as the downbeat hits of Ice Nine, he's out literally almost in, into the audience. It's incredible. Uh, so having those two guys in the band really has energized the old material. Of course, they took part in creating the new material, so they bring it to life. It's, yeah, yeah. It's great. Now, you know, as we saw in the, the other video that we shot, uh, you don't bring a lot of guitars out with you. Yeah. And, you know, some people would probably think, being a quote-unquote guitar icon, that you would have a wall of guitars, your whole arsenal. You only bring a few out. Why, why is that? Because uh, you can only play so many during a show, I think. Um, and we could bring, I mean, logistically, you know, you can, you can get six in a case, right? And so when you go to you know, 12 guitars, that's another really big case. And you have to think about shipping, logistics, and where does it go, and if you're not playing them, that means that they're just hanging around. And I start to worry about stuff that's hanging around, not around my neck, or in sight. So we tend to bring just what we need. Yeah. Now you're doing um, Solitude mm -hmm. and uh, Little Worth Lane from the new album in the yeah. set. Now those are, of course, you know, one is a, you know, very stark kind of mood piece and the other is a blues piece really right, yeah. does it does it take a while to sort of uh, get into those songs from the the, the rocking that you're doing I mean yeah. does it take a while to get into that zone it's particularly hard for me because I go from Andalusia which which for me is like a uh, you know a mind heart frenzy you know to get into the mood to play that and then we finish it and within 30 seconds or so I've got to calm down and play solitude, right? And it's just trying to get the nerves to just relax a little bit because there's so much energy in the left hand, and then I've got to be very calm and steady for solitude. So, yeah, it takes a it takes a lot, but it's good. I mean, it, it at the end of the night, I feel like I've really gone places. You yeah, know I mean, I think yeah. artistically, emotionally, and, and uh, I like it. Although it's a it's a crazy ride. Uh, and, and you're also doing uh, Wind in the Trees, yeah. one of my favorites from the new album. Now, on the album, you you uh, recorded that track using auto-tune. Yeah. You went crazy with the auto-tune on that. How are you recreating that live on stage? Well, I've learned to, with the left-hand technique of sliding and slurring, imitate what I hear uh, from the album track. Um, I've got the same guitar. Uh, I've got the same wah wah pedal. I've mm -hmm. got the same amp. So there are a lot of things that are in line there, but you can't really reproduce it exactly. So okay. we've all uh, taken that song to a new level. And now it's a real um, improvising showpiece for the whole band, and uh, so it's not just about the guitar. You know, there's Mike's solo, which really turns into like a 
uh, a two-way solo with, with Jeff and Mike. They kind of go crazy and they go off. And uh, and so it's it's grown, you know, that song's yeah. grown. Um, now, you're playing Summer Song. Yes. It's cold outside. Am, is that what it says? <laughs> yes. Summer Song. Yeah. I am playing Summer Song. Thank you. Was the set list stolen again? No, no. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's cold outside. It's winter. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why it's a good time to play it. And plus, we have John Petrucci tonight. He's going to be playing it sometimes in unison, sometimes with harmonies that he surprises me with. So okay. It'll be fun. Now, you know, uh, as we've talked about before, you write a lot on the road. You're always writing. Yeah. Have you been doing any writing on, on, on tour? Uh, be it for your own stuff or for Chicken Foot? You know, I started to go over stuff um, because there were a lot of fragments that I had as I started rehearsals for the tour. And I've just, after doing the... The 3D video shoot yesterday, actually today is the first time I started thinking about letting that part of me sort of be recognized again. Because okay. I didn't want to confuse the, the, the concentration for just getting the set down. Uh, not that it helped. <laughs> I still played like a <laughs> last night, anyway, but I tend to do that for the cameras. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, so and, and I'm looking you know, soon at, at uh, getting back with a chicken foot guy, so uh, I have to start thinking about those songs. I was uh, I was just about to say, last we spoke, you were wanting to start recording with them in January, but yeah. you're, I think the tour's been now extended, so now when are you looking to start recording uh, with chicken foot now? About two days after I get home. Oh my god. Yeah, we're back in the studio. Uh, but I mean, there's 14 songs that are already written, and uh, but we haven't played them together as a band, okay. or argued about them as a band, okay. or whatever. So uh, I'll find that out once I get home. And and Chad's good to go for recording. Yeah, I think he's here. As a matter of fact, tonight. He is. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Yeah. Because I want that drum gig. You know. <laughs> I mean, you know, if he can't do the tour, I want it. I'll, I'll have you guys put you guys in a room, see what happens. Oh, he'll still win. <laughs> he'll still win. All right, Joe. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Joe Basso with Music Radar. Joe Satriani. Bye. Interrupting his private time backstage, and uh, thank you very much, and, and have a happy holiday. Thank you, and you too, and I'd like to say hello to the camera woman who's doing a fantastic job. Hello. Love your work. <laughs>